Hey there everyone, today I'm diving into a topic that's as intriguing as it is contentious. Is Mr. Beast, the internet sensation known for his grandiose philanthropy and epic challenges, a symbol of white privilege? Let's unpack this together. First, who is Mr. Beast? With millions of followers and a knack for viral content, he's not just a YouTuber, he's a phenomenon. His videos, where he gives away cars, money or even houses, have captivated a global audience. But there's more to the story than just generosity. Let's talk about privilege. Privilege isn't about what you've done wrong, but about the advantages you might have simply because of your race, background, or socioeconomic status. When we look at Mr. Beast, we see someone who's benefited from systems built long before he was born. Systems that, historically, favored white individuals in America. Now, connect this with the idea of reparations. Reparations are a proposed way to address the injustices of slavery and systemic racism. They're about acknowledging that the past injustices have present-day consequences, which affect communities of color disproportionately. So the question arises, should influential figures like Mr. Beast, who arguably benefit from historical privileges, support reparations? It's a complex issue. On one hand, Mr. Beast does contribute to society through his philanthropic efforts, which shouldn't be overlooked. On the other, could these efforts be a way to address deeper systemic inequalities? Perhaps? Consider this. Mr. Beast's platform could be a powerful tool in advocating for social justice. Imagine if his next big giveaway tackled issues like housing inequality or education disparities. It's not just about giving away money or items, but about leveling the playing field. In conclusion, whether Mr. Beast is a symbol of white privilege isn't just a yes or no question. It's about understanding the layers of privilege and how they intersect with our modern-day societal structures. And more importantly, it's about how those with influence can use their platforms to foster real, tangible change. What do you think? How can influencers like Mr. Beast contribute to social justice? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this important conversation going. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video, a King Noble Black Supremacy video production.